Hi everyone, welcome back to my Endless Space 2 Let's Play playing as the Sophons on Endless Difficulty. So in the last video, I had a really interesting chapter to the main quest, the uh, Mavros for Chapter 3, and I'm about to make a decision on this very shortly. I should mention a bit about the trade situation from the last video. Sadly, I haven't been able to uh, come up with a solution that fixes that. It's a real problem because trade is just so incredibly valuable to your economy. I'm going to be losing a heck of a lot of luxuries and science and dust because of that uh, throughout the course of the game. I'd say at this point it's um, definitely apparent that the game's a bit buggy on release. Although Amplitude has very quickly uh, gotten patches out. And in fact I'm actually on a new patch in this video as well. I'm on version 1.0.6 now. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, basically fixed a number of things again, uh, mainly performance issues and bugs, to be honest, though, rather than any balance or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, sadly, this patch didn't fix that trade issue either. Actually, updating to different patches throughout the course of a Let's Play arguably isn't the best of ideas, but since there were performance issues, I think it was the best thing to do. I did actually try to see if I could... Uh, basically revert to an older version just to get the trade working but the original version that the game released with and the one patch after that actually isn't available anymore so um, yeah I can't uh, try that out so I'm just gonna have to hope that this fixes itself at some point. In between videos though uh, basically uh, the things I've done are updating my build list, that's how things are looking. I think we're coming up to a really interesting point of the Let's Play, so I'm really hoping we don't get any game-breaking bugs at this stage. Uh, there have been people mention it on the forums, but to be honest, the ones they've been mentioning are mainly end of turn pending bugs and combat uh, bugs that don't initiate, and that was they existed all throughout Early Access, and there was, was always a way to get around it, I found with auto saves, at least it worked for me. Um, I don't know if it's not working for other people or not, but uh, yeah, I haven't had any in this game so far. But uh, yeah, hopefully the 1.06 patch will have fixed all of those. I think it's supposed to have. Anyway, let's continue on. So I moved population around as well. In terms of tactics, I made a decision on this. So since we're switching mainly to rockets, I want long range. To be honest, there isn't a lot of... Uh, long range options. I would want the first two flotillas both long range but there isn't actually a card for that so yeah I think these are the best options that I can find uh, currently for me. I would like the experience one but sadly that's medium in the, medium fl in the central flotilla that's very good and yeah I've gone for that hard target as well for the third option. I need to unlock those still. I've actually updated my magnet ship as well. I hadn't done this recently. So it's now got two movement bonuses and I did stick on that Hyperion shield and since it only has one on it, rocket still. Uh, the next tech I'm going for is going to be an upgrade to the magnet actually so I'm not going to build any of those for a while. Probably until I get that. Let's pick this uh, main quest option then. So yeah, I should be able to complete this very soon. I have thought a bit more about these laws that it gives. Uh, if you terraformed all your worlds to a certain planet type, that could be very powerful with these actually, but it's not actually possible to do it. You can't turn a cold world into a hot world, for example, and you can only turn certain temperate worlds into hot worlds, so yeah, it's not as maybe, it's probably a bit better than I initially thought these laws, but they're not exactly, well, they're all right. So let's go for Tolerate anyway. So hopefully I can get the manpower for that next turn. I took a few ships at Hannah's this turn, so I'm going to bring those over to the main fleet, which is here. I think I'll keep that there actually to group up with these. I've got a ship, another hero over there, which I can group up with these. Starting to get some ships in here. Let's end the turn. allows me. Okay. Right. 
There's a fleet down there actually, which um, is a cause for concern, definitely. So, cooperative quest complete, dust to more dust. So, it looks like the whole galaxy has, uh, yeah, uh, completed that quest. Tell us, tell us what you plan. The hive is making noises. Didn't suffer an attack from you, right? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And the Lumeris have declared war on us. They definitely be making noises, and indeed, yeah, that fleet came over. I probably should have got some defenses up on Cancer. The signs were definitely there. But uh, my fleet is coming down. I was actually planning, of course, on declaring war on them. So they've uh, kind of done the job for me, which, yeah. I'm going to have to do something about that, though. I could lose Cancer based on that invasion. Uh, starting already. Uh, latest political survey is in. So, what's going on here? Uh, same as usual, basically, I think, for that. Right, let's check out the situation with cancer then. So, I've got freighters incoming, so I'm going to lose those. I have been moving Nashast over to here uh, to get the defenses up. In fact, I've got one. There. Let's stick on the Fertile World to get more of a bonus. I think it might be too late for that, though. Let's do this invasion. So we get three options. Now, Grand Battles are slightly changed compared to what they were, how they worked in the last Early Access build, and I haven't really done enough to know exactly all the changes yet. Uh, there's more information here, which is great. Uh, so this is similar to before, it might be a different name now though. So what you can do is get extra manpower by sacrificing, sacrificing population. That's what I'm probably going to do here since I don't have much troops. I haven't built any defenses on the planet. Apart from getting the Nashast over, which, yeah, isn't enough perhaps in this situation. I could surrender, uh, which would abandon the system but leave elements in place so it's easier to retake. Interesting. Minus 50% rate at which ownership increases. That is interesting, actually. I'm not a million miles away. I'm tempted to do that, but I think I'll go for the conscription option. And let's watch this as well. So you can see those are the extra numbers I get. I have increased my troop uh, value, but uh, so have they, probably. Alright, let's fight. Okay, hopefully we can hold out. Then is it blitz? It could be. Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, I actually managed to survive that battle, luckily for me. So... Yeah, I think the manpower returns in some fashion, though, next turn for possibly even both sides. So I'm gonna, that's going to be interesting to see how that works. But uh, we kept on to the colony, which is fantastic. And uh, we only lost one population off doing that. So, yeah, no real losses there. The tanks, are they better? 50 efficiency. I don't know. Let's close that. Let's try and upgrade my stuff if I can. Uh... 20% armor damage on Empire. I do have enough for that. I don't really want to spend those resources, but I think kind of have to. Uh, not sure I mentioned it last turn, but I actually sold a ton of luxuries last turn as well. That's why I've got crazy amounts of money. I may even move one the trading center from Kochab rather than wait for this to come up and hope that it... yeah figures itself out. Yeah, you can see I sold a ton of resources there. I 
bought some Jadenix as well to do a system development. Let's have a look in here. Is the trade thing actually available? No, it doesn't look like it's fixing itself, which really sucks. Incredible amount. So, what else is going on? There's tech. So, I now have another system improvement building, which is great. And, yeah, we're working on that. Get that next turn. I think after that as well, I'm actually going to go for the uh, support ship at the medium build. Quite like those. So we're, yeah, we're at war and we're definitely building up now. What's this? Right, that's done. Hero got a level up. This hero is now at level 11. Uh, the new noises as well in Grand Battle is a lot better. I prefer that to what it used to be. It's pretty good. Uh, right, more science for this guy. I don't think... No, I can't get any more of a bonus on that. I don't believe I completed the quest this turn for the Mavros either. Oh, and I... Yeah, uh, let's check Xenus as well. Right, the Mavros did turn up, but there's only one of them on here, is it? Yeah. That's sucky, so I need to, if I can, increase their amount, because I want them on all my Hot Worlds later on. Ah, and I do have a resource. That's the develop. That's the one I use for developments, though, so that's not great. Okay. What's that? Pulse sauce. How, oh, they must have sent some population over to me. So these are good on anomaly worlds, they're industrialists. 10%. They might be useful. I might do that later on. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, I don't mind having more industrialists because it's going to be my third party, I believe. They probably sent it to Aquarius, is it? Yeah. From over there. Okay, that's done. Let's group up these fleets and I should have enough money to upgrade them as well. I'm wondering, I probably won't upgrade the magnets this turn since I get that in. Let's have a look in here. I also bit, built an incubator as well. I could colonize the academy worlds, or at least the system, which I probably should do. Uh, right, let's get that out. Making the embassy, the speedlings up. Uh, right, let's get that out as well. So, let's get... Oh, there's a com caravel there, which I hadn't realized. Uh, let's attack that. Can I attack that? Why can't... Oh, it's moving off. Okay. Let's uh, come up here with that then. The incubator can come up there. Uh, that can come down there. What else is to move? I won't do the auto until I group that. Didn't we have a hero over here? Ah, there's another system. I'm tempted to send that over to do more expeditions. I'm actually out of expeditions. So I could do another scout over here, really. Yeah, let's come over there then. Or is that quicker? That's quicker, actually. It's got so much free movement. Okay, so I need two ships in here. Stick that one in there because it's got really good movement left. Um, that, let's move over as well. Let's check that out again. If allow me to. Uh, which is the best? Uh, let's take one out there. Okay, let's upgrade this fleet then, apart from the magnets. Uh, so the accelerators. I think it's so easily allow me to do it. It's going to cost me a fortune, but uh, let's go for it. Can afford it. They're new, aren't they? 
Okay, so let's get this fleet down here. Let's try and hope to save cancer in time. Uh, can I get quicker routes? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's do... Should I do that? Yeah. Well, actually, no, I'll go to there. Next turn, I'll upgrade the magnets, because you need to be within your influence. And then we'll come down. Okay. Uh, this one, second fleet, can form here. Okay. And... Might as well stick there to wait to get more ships and I'll make some magnets and more accelerators. Okay, let's do the automated movement if there is any. Right, I'm going to take a minute out to update my build list, do my population, and then we'll end the turn. So this is the systems management. This turn I'm starting to get some defences in near to the Lumeris, better late than never I guess. And making ships the best colonies, which are looking pretty good these days. And yeah, everywhere else is getting basic infrastructure in the main. I've uh, moved population around as well. I also sold a ton of luxuries and I also did give the pulse sauce a boost. I bought one Jadonix to get that done. I've forgotten a lot of the resources I actually need to give these a boost, so I need to uh, remember that really because I've probably been selling a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I think I'm pretty much ready to end the turn. If you're wondering how good this fleet is as well, it's not bad, but I should be able to beat it, I think, with this fleet. They're actually very similar to mine in some regards. Uh, they, uh, going for rockets, I think. So I should really probably use projectile defenses on my ships, maybe. Should change them to that design, but I'll probably keep a split, actually. Uh, let's end the turn. I don't think it's going to be too hard to take down the Lumeris. I'm wondering how this ground combat works now exactly. Do I get that building? Does that come into effect? Do I get manpower back? Do they get manpower back? guess we'll see. I've actually completed a quest, Happy Days. The Pulse Sauce are now part of the Empire, so got yeah, more of their population, and uh, that was lucky that we got one of their populace last turn as well. So we got 50 extra Hyperion. Cancer. Right, so what's going on here? Looks like I think they got manpower back. Maybe they brought some more troops into the system. Let's have a look. You're a sly one, aren't you? The, uh, humans, uh... I don't know, <laughs> doing something again. Uh, Lumeris destroyed a ship down here, probably. I'll come back... Oh, that's not good. Okay. No, they didn't move those over. So they seem to have got a manpower back somehow, because that was less than that before, I'll put it that way. I think it was f maybe 4.15? I don't know. Has mine gone down as well? Or is that the same? I think that's the same actually. I'm going to use conscription again. But... Well actually I'll come out of that. Uh, I got the uh, magnet tech this turn. So I'm going to upgrade my magnet ship straight away. I'm hoping I can get that fleet over in a turn. Probably won't be able to. So we can see we got three new modules and each cost extra Hyperium. There's a defensive module there. Gonna want to have projectile defense definitely on that. I think I'm gonna use these mainly for giving me a speed boost and a medium support design. I might use that for my defense ship. These will probably take the firepower until I get, or they'll probably be targeted until I get that better medium ship design the way my flotilla is. Um, so there's a support there. I might, yeah, I really like support modules, so I'm probably going to use a lot of these. Uh, there's another defensive module there, so actually let's use that. So I've got two of those. I think... Let's go for another speed boost then. And I could... 
for that one, go for another speed boost, or maybe give it a flotilla bonus. What ones are there? Crew destruction, not interested in that. Um, the damage ones aren't for the entire fleet or flotillas. Could go for yet more movement. I really am tempted to, actually. Flotilla shield, I don't actually need that against Limeris anyway, do I? Because they're using rockets. So let's go for another movement then. Which is... There. Lots of Hyperium on these though. Quite expensive as well. But... Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty decent. I might just take off that because it's a bit too expensive in Hyperium actually. Okay, and let's apply design, advanced details. Okay, so let's close that. I'm using a lot of manpower for making ships now, so that quest, um, yeah, I wish I chose the other option now, maybe the extra population one, but I'm sad that I've only got one of them, it's going to take a while to grow anyway. So let's upgrade this fleet with the new magnet design. And that's increased the movement to 15. Oh, I, have, I don't think I've upgraded the hero. that was, was it? Yeah, let's stick on some extra movement here, if I can find it. Uh, I'll bring those down nonetheless, and yes, I can get there in a turn, okay. So, let's do the ground combat, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, right, I'm gonna try and hold out again there, let's go for conscription, and let's... Well, you know what, I might as well bring it down now, before I do that, I think. Uh, I think this is definitely better than their fleet. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Can I attack it or not have that come into play? Let's try it. Okay. So let's go into the advanced options. They are almost all rockets as well. I'm not sure how good their rockets are, but I think my fleet is better. Uh, in fact, if we come, yeah, it looks a lot better. This is new as well. Toggle the locking state of all your ships. They will change for the if you use the presets. You can also, so maybe you can lock now in between battles. And I think that was even available in 1.05. I saw it. When I was watching the video back. So. They can only have two flotillas because they haven't got 10 command points. So which option do I want here? Okay, it took a minute out to figure out which card I want to use and move my ships around the flotillas. When I clicked on that, it mucked up all of the options I selected, so I'm not going to try and do that again. Uh, so hopefully it just sticks now, this uh, selection. I'm going to have a magnet in each of these fleets, uh, flotillas, I should say, because they're the best at defending. Uh, so they get attacked. Uh, that ship is just there to get a bonus. Sadly that isn't long range. But they all have exactly the same armaments. Rockets as me. The hero is the only one that has a bit different. So the hero will do pretty well actually in this engagement at medium. If, uh, but uh, it's actually crap. It's only got 53 attack. I think I'm ready. Let's fight. And we get to see our first proper battle. I think in the let's play so far. And hopefully should be quite a few more coming up. So I've mainly put I put the strength of my fleet in the middle. They've split it, which the AI seems to do in the main. And yeah, let's fight this battle. Each uh, the terrain as well can affect the battle, but it won't with this one. It didn't have an effect on the top. Right, let's go into the overview, I think. Right. And uh, I think which ship should I select? Let's uh, both of us start out long, which is best for all of us. Yeah, 
so they're tagged. They should be tagged in my magnets. I uh, not sure what ship types they have. I don't think they had any defensive support ships, did they? Or I've destroyed them already. Yeah, in fact, I have. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be pretty easy, to be honest. Hopefully, I don't go uh, taking too much damage on my magnet ships. But they are targeting them. Let's go. For Sooner you can destroy a flotilla as well, and the quick you get the bonuses. So by the end, of course, they'd all been destroyed. So again, three. Right, excellent. I took next to no damage, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much invasion thwarted. I hope, uh, yeah, that's gone now. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, they really got wrecked, didn't they? 30 odd k, 2.4 k in return. Right, brilliant. Done. Uh, so that hasn't disappeared actually. So, oh, hang on a second. Is it because they moved that over? When did they do that? Right, so uh, let's do this. Right, I have to retreat there. Don't know where that went to. I'll have to figure out in a second. Let's do conscription again. So, we'll. Ah, I won't watch this actually. Draw. Similar. Okay, excellent. Um, where's that incubator to down there or something? Is it? Okay. Uh, what's that? That is the value population boost ended. I need that glitter which I've been selling, so I need to buy some of that coming up. Okay, need to remember not to do that. Research. So we already have upgraded the uh, magnet ships. There's a new deed available. First to buy out three systems by spending influence culture flipping. Don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Uh, okay. Get that new design in next turn. Let's use the automated movement. Have I got the ships out the Hannah's? Uh, right, I probably I got a little bit of movement left. What I'm going to do now, I think, is update my build list and then we'll sort that out. Systems management, this turn is done. This is how things are looking. I decided not to actually get the resource to give the Zavalia boost. I've got enough of them already, I think. I've done little bits of uh, not so important movement, like uh, moving ships like that around. That actually has some expeditions to do in Ovaldi, so I'll show that bit. Just one actually by the looks of it. So, yeah, let's get that done. More Orichalcics there. Uh, let's send a probe down here. And I could probably move this out the way. You may have noticed something here. I actually saved the game and loaded the game to try and fix it. Basically, it looks as if the minor race system, the quest I did, uh, which gave me the system, it's proved to be really buggy. I can't actually make anything here at the moment. Maybe because the population is at zero. Maybe that's something to do with it. But the bugs are really starting to mount up now in this game. It's got a few going on here and there. Uh, if you're wondering as well, something I didn't realize is if the movement bonuses stack for the magnets, they used to, and in fact, I'm probably going to have to, well, I actually talked about this a bit in this video already, I'll probably cut it out of the video because they do stack. If I take that out, you can see that uh, the movement for that's gone down by three. So, yeah, that's great. They are stacking still. I brought a ship down there. Because uh, I was going to put it in that fleet because I didn't think they were stacking. Other than that, I'm grouping up here. More ships coming in there next turn. I think I'm pretty much ready to 
End the turn then, so hopefully this gets fixed. No trade still showing up. Let's end the turn. Election this turn. I'm still going to support the industrialist. That's the third party I want. The scientist and the military should get in first and second place. Let's go to the next step. Okay, is this working? Not really. <laughs> I skip that. Okay, that's really buggy. So I've got a mixture of good news and bad news. I was able to load back into the game. The game actually auto-saved. It seemed to be continuing on in the background when I had those election issues. So the turn has progressed. Problem is, if we take a look in the Senate, I don't believe this is updated properly. We don't have any more experience here for these political parties, and I would imagine that the uh, election process is going to be completely bugged from this point on throughout this game, uh, it would seem. It could be something to do, I'm guessing, with that buggy system, it not taken into account, but that's a pure guess. So the bugs are really mounting up in this game. I've got a buggy system, I've got uh, trade which isn't working properly, I've got senate now which I'm, basically I'm not going to get any more experience or any more laws that I've currently gotten, and the AI hasn't been too great either. So I think the game's trying to tell me that uh, yeah that's it basically, and I, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to call it an end of this let's play here at this point. So, I would say overall, the release version of the game is probably the most buggiest version of the game I've played so far. Uh, even though I've played every single Early Access and covered every one. The last two Let's Plays I did, I was able to complete to uh, finish. And uh, the ones before that, I just didn't because it was very early on in the uh, Early Access. So Amplitude really messed up with the release version of the game. On the good side though, I'm actually recording this part of the video now, uh, just over a day later, and Amplitude has actually updated the game. Uh, it's now on version 1.0.52, even though I was using 1.06 there, it seems to have gone back a version, don't ask me why. Uh, but uh, I have actually played a bit with this version of the game to a similar point in number of turns and I didn't have any bugs with it and the AI performed really really well. It was giving me a one heck of a game in fact. So I think what I'm going to do is actually start a new Let's Play very soon. I'm not exactly sure what settings I'll be using. I'm kind of thinking something like that at the moment and I'm not sure if I'm going to muck around with the over colonization penalty again reducing it. I may reduce it to 4 instead of 3 because presumably uh, we won't get a bug from the extra planet's tech. Uh, yeah, 4 might be about the right amount if I have about 40 systems-ish. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing anyway, starting a new Let's Play. Uh, it's a pain that I couldn't finish this one off but I really don't think there's a chance of me, yeah, I don't think there's much point in me continuing that game even though arguably it wasn't any game breaking bugs, there were so many uh, significant small bugs that it was pretty wrecked by that stage. You'll have to let me know what empire you want me to play as Aren't I divine? in the next Let's Play coming out, which will hopefully be on the channel within the next few days or so. Uh, maybe on the weekend, possibly, I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty much open to any suggestions, really. What I'm I think I'll actually do is create a straw poll and you can vote uh, within that straw poll. It won't be definite, so I won't definitely pick the one that's got the most votes, but I'll certainly very much uh, yeah, uh, base my judgments around it. Um, there's some empires that I would definitely prefer to play more than others. I don't think I want to play the Sophons again or the Riftborn because that was the last one, but I think I'll include the other six for you to choose from. Right, so I think that's it for then for this Let's Play. I'd just like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it up until uh, the point I was able to show. 
and uh, yeah, hope you check out the next Let's Play when it's up on the channel or any of my other content that's in the homepage or on the playlists. And also, if you want to help support the channel, I could really do with the help. Please check out my Patreon page. And uh, yeah, any uh, extra money I get from individuals via Patreon goes a massive way to keeping the channel going. Right, thanks for watching then. And uh, check out that straw poll. And I'll see you next time.